John Moore for sportsmore.com, the Grand Parade, downtown Halifax, joined by coach of the Nova Scotia boys basketball team, heading out to the Canada Games uh, just a couple weeks. Sean Mantley, good to see you once again. Sean, tell me about the expectations for this team heading west. Uh, well, we're going in rank number one, so our expectations are high. We want a medal, whether it's gold, a bronze, or silver. Uh, they won the last two years at nationals, but Canada Games is a little different, multi-sport. But we still have high expectations of our team. We have five guys that played on the under-15 team that won gold last year, two guys that played on the under-17 team, so we're hoping that experience will transfer over to Canada Games. What are the strengths of this team? Well, you know, we're Nova Scotia, so we're not very big. So it's got to be speed, it's got to be quickness, it's got to be uh, defensive tenacity, you know, trying to get the ball up the court transition. So basically speed and strength, uh, quickness are our strengths. Let's talk about your lineup then. Well, let's, uh, maybe we can start with the guards. You can take me through it. Okay, well, we have Demerick Mercer, who we basically would be our point guard, so he's very good at uh, getting an assist, you know, pushing the ball off the floor. He's our, our defensive front man, so we expect him to to, to to show what other guys need to do defensively, so he's our point guy. Uh, Ryan Monroe, who's a two guard, very good shooter, can shoot, shoot shots and pull ups and threes and transition, also in our offense, and lately he's been playing really, really good defense. Caleb Johnson, he's uh, a former former uh, former player at Dow. He's his son, long, six two, six three, long arms, can play multi positions, uh, can score in buckets and transitions, and we hope to have him basically also rebound. Jackson Smith, Jackson Smith is kind of left three four. He can, he can rebound, he can shoot the pot up, spot up three. We expect him to play bigger guys defensively, and he plays bigger than what he is. Uh, Jazz, we call him New New States. Uh, he's a 3-4 guard, very strong, very, very physical. He plays, again, a lot of guys, bigger guys. We expect him to score in transition and then usually guard that their tough three guy. Ja'Shawn uh, Downey, he's our youngest uh, player, grade 9, lefty, uh, very quick, can score like in multiple ways. Just look at him for him to also play defense. Jaron Johnson, another kid from New Glasgow. Again, a two-three guy, go guy. He can shoot threes. He can he can make layups. We're also looking for him to play defense to guard those quick or bigger guys. Muhammad Abakar, again, lefty, another lefty. You got quite a few lefties. Quick guy can score transition. Can score get to the hole. Very very aggressive attacking. Again, looking for him to play defense. Sam Wade, he's a big, he's a big guy, a three-four. He get more like a small forward. Can shoot the fifty-footer. Can take it to the hole. Can shoot threes. Uh, again, looking for him to play defense. Joe Fournette would be our biggest guy. He's six-six, but he's thick. He's almost built like a football guy. Loves to bang, use his body, get in there, rebound. And another thing he can do is shoot three. Ethan, Ethan Sperlin, kid from Horton, you know, one of those guys from the Valleys, always, you know, you know, put their, their heart and their effort on, on the floor, loves to bang, he will use his fouls, can also hit the 15-footer, and again, looking for him to play defense. Another guy, we got another shooter, Jack Pittman from Anaganish, uh, close to St. Avex, uh, spot-up shooter. He worked really hard on his defense. He's very quick uh, getting off the floor. He's been rebounding for us, and he's, again, also playing defense. <laughs>